What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. First thing, I gotta say thank you, my subscribers, they're going up. They're going up. And I really don't know why. Maybe it's because you guys are hitting that like button, commenting anything down below, sharing the videos with your friends and family. I can't really nail it down, but I'm gonna say thank you because this is crazy. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe man. Each subscription is guaranteed five pounds of mass a month. Ain't no one here turning down five pounds of mass a month. Today's video man, I got an amazing recipe. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen some teasers. Not only is this recipe stupid simple it's like three ingredients it's highly anabolic full of flavor and I'm telling you if you have a craving if you really want to order out and you're gonna you're about to break your diet this one will keep you on track anabolic general so's chicken crispy crunchy delicious bursting with flavor just don't stare at it too long that glowing orange just might damage your retina so you can either give in to the temptation order the Chinese takeout get the egg rolls on the side eat the general so's chicken get loads of sugar kick your cravings into high gear ruin your progress for the week or you can make this recipe, keep going, keep losing weight, keep building muscle, and never have to miss a beat. As always, if you have the RJF cookbook, link in description. This recipe is now in there, along with all the other recipes I'm adding. You get it one time, you get every single recipe that I make, all the previous ones, all the future ones. This is a one-time thing. I make it easy, step-by-step -step instructions, exact weights, down to the gram on what you need to do. So if you get this, I promise you'll be making gains and eating like a king at the same time, baby. Like a king. So if you guys are ready to get this epic recipe video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah. Per usual, make sure you got a food scale handy and a mixing bowl. You can assume nine times out of 10, if you're gonna make one of these recipes, you're gonna need both of these. If I ever quit weighing out my food, then the aliens have taken over my brain. If that happens, please call my emergency medical contact. My mother? Now, since we're making General So's chicken, we obviously gotta start with some chicken breast. So I got some in a Tupperware container, and I'm gonna give you guys a little masterclass on how to trim some chicken breast, shall we? All right, let's do this one. This one looks pretty gross. You see that right there? That's fat. To simplify it for you, that's calories. Calories. We don't want. We want the protein. We don't need that fat. So just take your scissors, snip, or a knife. I get a lot of crap for using scissors, but it's easier. So, I mean, you can fight me on that all you want, bud, but if you think you're taking my scissors away, you got another thing coming. Then what I'm gonna do is examine it. More fat, more gristle, more crap. Just go in here. Boom! See? That whole piece is basically forfeit. I'm not gonna go in and try to snip off a little bit. Like, I don't care that much. That That's just, de that's dead to me. You're dead to me. Look here, we got a little bit right here. Just get that off of there. Nice. And when you're done, you should have a chicken breast that is basically fat-free. You see that? That's gains, bud. And once your breast is trimmed, all we're gonna do now is cut it into bite-sized pieces. About like that, right there. Think the size of a chicken nugget, boneless wing, whatever. I mean, you can make a bunch of really small ones if you want, but I like them to be thick, boy. See, look how much easier this is with scissors. If you're trimming with scissors, you're less likely to cut your finger off in a tragic bro cooking accident. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather keep my digits. Went ahead and just trimmed all the chicken breast I had, but we actually only need 448 grams. So I'm gonna sit that on there and weigh these out. Pro tip, when you got things in a Tupperware, use the dirty side of the lid to weigh out your chicken. Something I picked up along the way. And once your chicken is weighed out, just throw it in a large mixing bowl. Then we wanna grab a bottle of sugar-free sweet chili sauce by G. Hughes. And let me tell you guys, this sauce, G. Hughes sauces in general, the sugar-free barbecue sauces, this chili sauce, they're the lowest calorie, best tasting sauces you can find, really. I've tried a lot of sauces, a lot of them suck. These ones, A+, plus. and plus G's the man. We're gonna watch our food scale and measure out 120 grams. You can use more sauce if you want. It's only five calories a serving, so you really have a whole bottle and probably wouldn't notice a whole lot of a difference. But for the sake of the recipe, 120. And all we wanna do now is go in with our hands and mix all of this up. You basically want every piece of your chicken to be coated in this sauce. Once it's mixed up, move your chicken to the side, grab a food scale and a bowl, and weigh out 80 grams of basic, plain cornflakes. Telling you guys, this makes like the perfect breading. If you don't believe me, you gotta try it. And then take those cornflakes and transfer them to a baggie. Grab your tool of bludgeoning ice cream scoop and start pounding away. 
Now like with the Oreo cheesecake bites or any of those recipes, you don't have to pound these into a fine powder. You can, it ain't gonna hurt, but I like to get them into little, just tiny flakes. Itty bitty guy. So once your corn flakes are how you like them, you just gotta dump them in with your chicken. Nice. And once again, go in by hand and just mix everything up. You should see the corn flakes start sticking to our chicken because that sauce is pretty sticky. I'm telling you guys, don't underestimate this recipe, man. If you've ever put your faith in me before, then please, for the love of God, don't leave me now. And once the chicken is where we want it, you're gonna need a baking sheet and a piece of foil. Foil's not necessary, but it makes cleanup way easier. And then what I'm actually gonna use to make these more crispy, once again, not required, but a good investment, is a wire baking rack. You set that right here, it kind of lifts them off the ground, the way they can cook more thoroughly all over. You don't have that underside that's like flattened and looks a little gray. You know what I'm saying? You probably don't. Hit your rack or sheet with some non-stick spray. And then slowly grab each piece of your chicken and just lay it on your pan. You wanna make sure that they aren't touching each other because you want them to cook and crisp all the way through. If they're touching each other, it's not gonna come out 100% right. But I mean, it'll still be good. You're still gonna eat it. But I always say, man, half the battle of cooking is making sure she turns out purdy. She needs all her teeth and you shouldn't have to tie a steak around her neck to get the dogs to play with her. And once they're laid out, you may have some extra cornflakes down in your mixing bowl. Just sit them on the ones you think that need it. Little pro tip right there, man. We tracked it in our macros. We might as well eat all of it, right? I don't know about you guys, but I don't ever leave a macro behind. And once your chicken is evenly spaced out, coated, breaded, I mean, we're good to go. 400 degrees and anywhere from 13 to 15 minutes. If you want it more crispy, 15, maybe a little longer. If you want it a little softer, 13 is where it's at. Ladder in. Woo! Seven, time and ladies and gentlemen, when we return, we're gonna have the best chicken I've ever made on this channel. And you can take that to the bank. And boom, popcorn chicken is done. Not only does this smell amazing, you could really eat it right now. There'd be a ton of flavor locked in from the way that all the breading got coated with the sauce, but General Tso's is known for its sauce. So what we gotta do is place all of our pieces on a plate. Although if it was me and I didn't have to take like a thumbnail because without a good thumbnail, no one watches the video, I'd probably just throw them in a bowl, add my sauce and keep it moving. But YouTube, man, it's a hustler's game. So if you made it this far into the video, please, for me, smash that thumbs up button and comment anything down below. Comment a dish you might want to see me make extra anabolic. Comment your favorite breed of dog. Comment how cute Logan's getting. I don't care what you put down there, bud. Just make it something. And once I got the chicken all piled up, I'm gonna go ahead and add about 120 more grams of sauce right over these, man. I really want them to be bathing in it. Just really make this as authentic General So as we possibly can. Holy cow, guys, this smells incredible. I am starving. Isn't that just beautiful? Even I surprise myself sometimes. We've been staring at it long enough, man. Now, let's give her a test. Here we go, man. One of my childhood favorites that I thought I had to give up. But once again, we've proven that myth wrong. You can still have the foods that you love, the foods that you crave. You just gotta make better choices, man. Throw an apron on, get in that kitchen, and make your dreams a reality. By summer 2021, if the world hasn't ended yet, we're all gonna be shredded together. Yeah. All right, enough talking. Let me get a piece down in here. Ooh. That's the one we're doing right there. Let's get it, baby. Three, two, one, let go. Mm -hmm. I will say this, for how simple this recipe is, how easy this is to make, it's maybe one of the best things I've ever invented. Mm -hmm. Legit, the texture, the sauce, it literally tastes just like General Tso's, except you're not gonna hate yourself after you eat it. Good load of that, man. That breading, that sauce, she's gorgeous. <laughs> Incredible. The pictures, the video doesn't do this one justice. You gotta try this one. You gotta tag me in your Instagram. I love seeing what you guys are up to. Mm. Think about a recipe like this, you could easily make Buffalo wings, just by switching out the sauce. Barbecue wings, just by switching out the sauce. That's the goal with my cookbook and with these recipes. Like, I give you all the tools, right? The recipes, yeah, they're great. But once you know what you gotta do, you can start tweaking it, man. There's no rules in here. Make it how you want it, right? That's the key to a long-term sustainable diet. Eat things you enjoy. Have fun in the kitchen. Have fun trying new sauces, new recipes. Because I'm telling you, when you enjoy what you do in the kitchen, you can't lose it this, man. Get another one of these. Ooh. 
Wow, this is so good. And if you're worried about your veggie intake, you can always take a supplement like Final Boss Performance Greens. Scoop a day keeps the doctor away. Then you don't really have to worry as much about your hashtag health. Available at FinalBossPerformance.com or Amazon.com for free two-day shipping. You charge have 10 for 10% off and you're gonna be straight, bro. A little spicy, let me get some water. Atomic Bomb Sickle Amino Water. It's a shameless plug, I know. But that's really what's in here. In this entire recipe, right, the whole thing, there's 804 calories, only four grams of fat, 106 grams of protein, 86 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. This is one of those meals that is perfect to make it, split it up into two different meals, right? Have it two times in one day, put the other one in the fridge, maybe have it just the next day. This is a lot of food at one time. I'm about maybe close-ish to halfway through this and I'm getting full, but yet I have no desire to go keep eating, get more stuff with sugar because the sauce is sugar free. So we're not triggering that thing in our brains that makes us want to go, ah, just go binge on everything, man. That's the key. High protein, keep your sugar as low as you possibly can and eat at a set amount of calories according to your goals. You do those three things, man. It's going to be such an easy process. It's going to be so easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And with some of these lockdowns and everything that's going on, man, it makes going out a little tougher than it used to be. So next time when you're bored, you're going to invite a friend over, invite your girlfriend over, whatever, find a recipe, go get the ingredients, make it at home, eat it together. You're going to bond and you're going to make games together. And you know that old saying, a family that gains together stays together. So I mean, Logan have lasted so long. As always, if you got the cookbook, link in description, get your updated copy. I keep adding to it. We keep throwing these recipes in. I am constantly trying new stuff. So invest in this now. By the time we're done, man, this, this could be the single best investment you've ever made. Everybody's trying to get you on a goofy diet. Don't eat any fat. Only eat leaves. Use Weight Watchers points. All this goofy stuff. And at the end of the day, the only two things you got to do is eat in a calorie deficit and eat enough protein. That is it. There's no such thing as bad foods, just bad quantities. Certain bad ingredients are going to cause you to go over your calories, man. When you do things the right way, make it a lifestyle. Whew, you can't fail, man. I appreciate all you guys for watching. As always, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, smash that thumbs up button. Tag me on Instagram. Comment anything down below. Yada, yada, yada. You know what it is. Until next time, guys, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Oh, mm, mm. God, you know,